This is a thin body porcelain lampshade. The design is from the snowflakes in Guy Thompson's hometown. There is still a long way to go from his initial idea to the finished product. For Guy Thompson, making this lampshade is not only a challenge, but also relates to his choice of life. Guy is a Londoner, a PhD in physics, who is now a ceramic artist in Jingdezhen. Thirteen years ago, I was feeling unfulfilled in what I was doing at that point and where I was living. And it was then when I was discussing with my current business partner, August, what, what was possible. And we remembered that we'd been to Jingdezhen maybe ten years earlier. It was a town where we could be creative. Porcelain is a combination of techniques and art, which can not only give play to Guy's expertise, but also carry his creative dream. My grandparents had some export porcelain, and my parents then inherited that around porcelain for a while. Guy was very excited about the idea of fulfilling his childhood dream in the birthplace of porcelain. After much investigation and preparation, he set up his own studio with his partner August Wang, who is from Taiwan. At first, Guy and August were confident about their new business. But as soon as they got started, they found that making porcelain was not as easy as lab experiments. Marjo是我和盖在最早最早什么都不知道的时候，我们两个就是有这样子狂妄的态度，说了一句话：“做个盘子有什么难？”结果我们拿到的第一个我们设计的盘子做出来，合格照我们要的样子出来的这个盘子
the Eastern style always lies in the timeless skill. But we found in one shop where a supplier sold all the ingredients, he was able to tell us the vague percentages of the three main ingredients, which is the water caramel clay, feldspar, and quartz. His guy's job to research the ingredients. This duckling is a model for guy's experiment. It bears the responsibility of confirming whether the formula is sound. Guy, because of his background and his educational background, he is very used to doing experiments. Actually, the most difficult thing for him is that he needs time. 并不是说我现在马上去做，你就可以有答案了。很多东西你得等烧完之后才知道一个结果。These ducklings look exactly the same, but are grouting with different formulas. Guy is going to fire them in a gas kiln with a stable temperature. The firing itself takes 11 hours and another six hours to cool down. After scorching temperatures of more than 1,000 degrees Celsius, the results are in. Some are burnt and cracked. Some have poor penetration. Some of the latest tests that we carried out the other day. What's the biggest difference? Some of these are stronger and whiter, and they're a lot thinner. They look lighter. I think well, this one is the best. This is the latest recipe. Why is it the best? It weighs six grams, so it weighs absolutely nothing. Okay. Finally, the duckling announces that one of his recipes works. To perfect his thin body porcelain, Guy turns to another craftsman named Wang Xiaohua. Wang Xiaohua has been working in this field for more than forty years. I'm getting this right because we. We just wanted it to be. How easy to put your finger through this now! Beautiful. I think it's fantastic. We've been very lucky to work with Wang Shufu because I think what we, when we make something, we want it to be the best we possibly can. With the help of Master Wang, Guy can finally make this lampshade into a perfect shape. August also finds the right Oriental theme for the work. Traditional Chinese hand painting techniques, bamboo and plum blossom patterns, reveal the origin and background of this lampshade. Guy says it is the traditional Chinese culture that nourishes his creative talent in Jingdezhen. Jingdezhen's culture was handed down through thousands of years of kiln fire, and by making porcelain, Guy is deeply touched by its beauty of porcelain and its culture. Things you see, CGTN.